This video is sponsored by Shortform. The trees are filled with fruit in the colours of autumn. Shining red jambu, the golden persimmons, the deep blue of rainforest plums that mimic slow autumn shadows painting each valley in their touch. After the floods, lots has changed, and we're learning from nature to be resilient. After the biggest floods in a thousand years, everything feels different. But Earth is resilient, and the seasons are constant. The fruit still ripens, the shadows still stretch, and the creeks still flow. Living with the land, we have to learn from nature to adapt, shift, and respect the circularity and ever-changing seasons. To respect the land and the weather and the disasters that come with it. But we're also learning the need to protect nature before it's too late, because floods like this are a new threat with the changing climate. Without drastic worldwide change, we can't imagine what comes next. We've been very overwhelmed after the massive floods, but seeing the moments of hope, beauty, and the constant cycles of nature lets us understand our place in the world. And for now, we're focusing on connecting with the beautiful moments of each autumn day. Even in the toughest times, if you look hard enough, there is beauty in every moment. The jambu tree is abundant with fruit, and its juicy, sweet flesh feels like a farewell to summer. The Davidson plum tree is slowly ripening and dropping fruit. We're collecting them before the sheep come to snack on each fallen fruit. These plums are native to these rainforests and drop the sour fruit to the forest floor. We are incredibly lucky to care for this piece of earth on Bundjalung country, on the land of the Arakwal and Minjimbal people. Every time we pick native fruit or connect with the earth, we feel so grateful to be held in these forests and realize the importance of doing better for the land. In the 250 years of Australia's white history, the way that this land has been degraded is hard to imagine. But these forests are resilient and hold so much strength we are inspired by each tree and for each tree in all aspects of our life. Me and my
The jackfruit tree doesn't have many fruit this year, but we're excited to take one home to cook with. We're leaving a few on the tree for next time. Being self-sufficient and relying on ourselves for food is so powerful. There is no better feeling than collecting a heavy basket full of fruit grown by ourselves and our family. This is a gula or cluster fig tree. They are native to a wide area of Southeast Asia and Australia and grow their fruit straight from the trunk of the tree. Autumn brings the first persimmons and with the change in the air we're always reminded of the bright yellow fruit and are excited to eat them straight from the tree. Each of these trees was planted by our grandparents years and years ago. Their actions still provide us with the nourishment of fresh fruit so many years on, and despite the changing climate and extremities, their care lives on. The meaning each fruit carries inspires us. We are honoured to sit under the shade of a tree planted by those who are no longer here, and the fresh, abundant fruit inspires us to plant more trees for future generations. By planting trees and regenerating the land, we hope to provide some protection to this rainforest. We hope that the meaning of the woven stories and trees will have the ability to bind this earth together and protect the soils. In our individual actions, we hope to create a small ripple of change, a ripple of meaning that will pass on to anyone that eats the flesh of these abundant fruits. We hope that our small individual changes can create a ripple that engulfs the larger problems, that puts pressure on coal companies, on the CEOs that thrive on the destruction of the land, and on our uncaring government funded by the degradation of this earth. Together we can achieve change, and there is so much hope in the hands of nature. The papaya tree has so many green fruit. These are perfect for salads and for pickling. Starfruit or carambola tree is also full of fruit. These star-shaped fruit are tangy and sweet and are the perfect snack.
We started growing these New Guinea beans, bottle gourd, or lauka, and they produce so many huge gourds. It feels so powerful to feed yourself and your family from the land, and in doing this, protect the earth. The independence of growing our own food is incomparable. To know that, as the seasons change, the trees will fill with new fruits and the rich soils will nourish us. And each fruit is healthy and filled with so many nutrients. We're packing some fruit to share with our neighbours as we all come together to clean up the creek from the flood debris. It's awful to see the impact of humans on these creeks. Seeing the plastic filled stream is shocking. The vines and rocks covered in waste. But watching the community come together to clean up is inspiring. It's actually so fun to hop around the creek chatting with our neighbours. So many hands make light work and it's inspiring to see the power of community to make change. And it lets us imagine what the world is capable of by coming together. The thought of all of this rubbish in the creek systems has been so overwhelming. But once we got started and made a small impact in cleaning it up, it all felt achievable. We're going to keep exploring the creeks and collecting waste until they are clean once again. Something that's been helping us find motivation and joy in hard times is short form. Short form is the best way to learn ideas from all of those books you've always wanted to read. They make the best guides to non-fiction books that are super detailed so you can understand the book much deeper. With short form, we've been able to discover so many new books and check out key ideas for books we've always wanted to read. We've been using short form to read The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama, and I've picked up so many things that I would have missed. They have so many interesting genres of books, including spirituality, health, and motivation. To get five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount off the annual subscription, join Shortform through our special code shortform.com mountain, or click the link in the description.
We're living back with our mum at the moment. In these tough times, everyone needs support and care. We've all been cooking and caring for each other, and today we're cooking from the fresh pot juice. We learn so much from the fresh food, and the garden always teaches us to eat with the seasons and try to cook new food and recipes. After the floods, a lot has changed. We have been so busy, we've barely even had time to acknowledge all the devastation. We are so lucky here. Us and all our neighbours didn't lose any houses, and the landslips luckily missed everyone. But the floods took their toll on the land and gorged out each valley, carving new paths and changing the landscape completely. With the power of the water, every rock moved, and sediment has piled everywhere. The dam has filled with small rocks, and there is a beach at the entrance. We're so worried about how much dirt and rocks were pushed into the dam, so we're going to canoe and check. It's hard to tell how deep it goes, so we'll come back another day with a longer stick. We call this valley Sleepy Gully, and we've been working hard to fence the steep hills so that goats and sheep can have it as a paddock to help regenerate the land and eat the weeds. Last time we walked up this valley, we had to crawl through tiny gaps in the bush, scramble through weeds, and climb over old logs everywhere. Now the water carved an open path, and in minutes we can walk to the top of the valley. The music in this video is by The Riverside, a group of amazing people who make the most beautiful songs. You can find their links in our description. At the top of the valley, the chestnut tree stood strong, reaching far into the valley with its heavy limbs. The water pushed it over and most of the tree has begun to die. This tree had been here for as long as anyone could remember. It was planted well before our grandparents moved here. The changes to this landscape are shocking. Everything that was so sturdy has shifted and changed. But the rainforest vines held a branch of the chestnut tree up to the sky and new leaves are blossoming. Nature is resilient and we are inspired. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. We are so grateful for each of our patron support. With you, we're inspired to keep working towards building regenerative systems that nurture the earth.